on that steal on the inbounds pass, or uh, what, what led you to kind of be able to make that break? Uh, I just felt uh, tonight it was the least I could do. Uh, <laughs> add, you know, my contribution contribution to the team. Uh, try to make a play right there. Paul, have you been around many guys that have a sense for when to take over a game like Russell does? Uh, no. Um, you know, really it's, it's uh, me and you, uh, a guy at his level, um, you know, that, that uh, is always ready for the moment. Uh, and can, can just sense, um, you know, how and when to, uh, you know, really take charge and, and, and you know, uh, just one of the most um, explosive uh, and, and, you know, unique players I've ever played with. Paul, is, it, is it comforting when you have a guy that can, that can take over games like Russell did in the first quarter tonight when, you know, your shot's not falling, your coming out shot's not falling, you all know that y'all can get him the ball in situations, you know, whether it's off an assist or a screen or, or whatever you need to do to get him the ball? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's comforting. Uh, you know, it's... it's, it's his, his ability to start the game off, uh, you know, he always does it with almost no rhythm. Uh, and it's, it's, it's only special guys can do that. Starts the game off trying to get other guys involved and get other guys going. Uh, and then, you know, late games, uh, he immediately just snaps into another another zone. Um, and it's, it's nearly impossible to stop, uh, stop definitely. Paul, well, the game's kind of a, a slog that way offensively. What, what's the value of having a guy like Steven in either the pick and roll or in post ups you can get the ball to? Yeah, I, I, Steven's value is, is, is extremely important um, in, in that sense of when things get stagnant, we need a, a possession, we need a bucket, um, we need a, a quick relief. Uh, you know, he, he's always he always come through. Um, you know, he's very underrated, but he's posting up or finishing at the basket very underrated. Paul, what was it about tonight specifically? Because n- normally, at least statistically, Steven gets fewer shots in the fourth quarter than he does early in games. Well, and you guys seem to just really stay active with, with pick and rolls with him late in the game. What was it about tonight that, that well, kept you guys going with him? They're going to they have five uh, you know, guards, you know, James Johnson at the five. Uh, five perimeter guys out there. Uh, and we're going to keep Steve-O out there. You know, it's, it's, we got to hurt him with that. Um, that's that's got to be... It's not many fives that can, you know, guard Steve Bo. Um, and then we got a, a, a wing trying to guard Steve Bo. Um, you know, that's our advantage. Um, and we had to go e- exploit that down there. It seemed like you chased them through and talked through all their DHO stuff out there on the perimeter. Why were you guys able to kind of handle that for the most part throughout the game? I thought just communication. Uh, we, we understood how well they execute, um, how good they are with screening action and, you know, guard to guard screening. Um, I thought we did, did a really good job with that. Um, usually we struggle. Uh, I would say we, 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 it, it takes us to like the second qu- or second half of the game to understand what the team was doing. I thought we came out tonight and uh, you know we 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 was engaged and ready for that early on. All right, thank you.